I think the so when when any industry becomes mature, like uh, you you move to the next level, right? So even I think that the computing industry also have now moved to a level that now we need to think about the human aspects of that. And computing will become slowly slowly invisible in the sense that, of course, the computing will stay, but we will not notice it is at it. It will blend into the existing environment, everyday everyday life uh, as much that we we will just use it. It's like we'll only miss it when we lack. So we will only notice it when it's not there. A lot of my lot of my work actually falls under this category of invisible computing. So uh, let, even let's say the, the the classic world of the sixth sense that uh, that uh, uh, get a lot of attention is also part of the invisible computing where we are actually interacting with the physical world as we used to do, like reading a book or knowing more about an object in the hand. But you are still getting that digital dynamic data onto that object into the real life. That is an invisible computing. So we are not restricted now with the the screens or pixels or or gadgets or devices. In some sense. Uh, what is next is uh, there are a lot of uh, work is happening in this line. The one thing I'm very happy that a lot of my work contributed to the overall thinking about the computing in o all over the world, not only of my a project but also as a big industry. You can see a lot of people are now launching augmented reality platforms on mobile phones and people are now started coming with the wearable glasses and I'm very happy about that that um, that is coming from some from a grassroots rather than a big industry is giving you whatever they want to give it to you as a product uh, from the financial reasons problem.